Hello everyone, Corral Dog here. Um, wanted to do a video on the new iMovie um, update that came out with Mavericks the other day. And some of the things I like and some of the things I dislike about uh, the new iMovie. It has a totally different uh, layout for the workspace. And... Um, so I just wanted to kind of walk through some of these things and, and give my thoughts and uh, and uh, share that with you guys and, and um, kind of see what your thoughts are um, on iMovie if you're using iMovie. Okay, so first thing, let's, one of the things I like is it puts the import and uh, create and share um, functionality or options right here up front on the on the main window here um, instead of having it in the menu you can also get to it from the menu but um, uh, having it here is is a little nicer uh, easy to get to without going to the menus and I don't know a lot of um, iMovie keyboard shortcuts just yet um, haven't really taken the time to to look into those but so let's say I wanted to create a new uh, movie project. So I'll just click on create and this is assuming I've already um, imported a video. So I'm just going to use a previous video that I've got imported already. So we can do a movie or a trailer. Uh, so I always do just the movie. And it should create a, a new project which it will after I choose a theme. So I'm just going to choose no theme. Just double click that. This asking for a name, so we'll just do uh, how about test? Does that sound sounds good to me? And then we can choose an existing event um, that I've already got. I've only got two so far um, with this new format. The previous version before the update, I had, geez, um, maybe 30 or 40. So we'll just use uh, this event here. And click OK. Because you can see we, we have a blank slate, uh, nothing in the project so far. So let's say I wanted to add a title. Well, it has a lot of the same titles from the previous version, and then it also offers some new ones, um, which is cool. I like that. And you can see um, a description of what the titles do, how how the title screen will work if you uh, put your mouse on one of the uh, templates here and you can press the space, uh, the space bar and play through it through that particular title screen and show you how the your title will appear so let's just do one of these I think that's pretty much just a plain one uh, let me find one that's pretty cool maybe this one Well, and that one doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's set this one up. So it just comes up with a name. Okay. So, let's find one that I haven't used before. I think I've used this one. Okay, we'll use this one. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it down here to the timeline. And as you can see, the timeline is already, you know, zoomed in pretty good. So... Uh, it makes it harder to work on file on uh, on clips, so I'm just going to back that down to show it in smaller clips. So we've got a title screen, and we'll just keep it with uh, the default text. And um, so now, maybe I want a background for this title screen instead of just the black. So to get there, we go to maps and backgrounds, and then it gives us you know several to choose from here. These here are the ones from the previous version. And these are some new map ones. Not really sure why they have um, map backgrounds, but okay, it, it's pretty cool. So uh, let's let's drag this one down. As you can see, you can put it beside it, which would keep it as a separate clip. So let's just do that, and I'll show you what it does. If you play the clips, it shows the title screen, and then it shows a blank background. So. 
it's not really what I'm looking for. So what you have to do is drag the background uh, over the title. And when you do that, you know, I would think the background would automatically be behind the title screen, but that's not what happens. And this is one of the things I don't really like about it. You have to, which is not a big deal, uh, what you do is you just move the title screen, put the background first, and then drag the title screen on top of it, and you can see this is this works better. Uh, so now you've got a nice background and a title. Okay, so that's cool. Um, that that's took me uh, about two minutes to figure out, so not too bad. Uh, one of the things, so I want to edit this title screen. So I double click and it's not letting me edit. Okay, maybe I need to. There we go. Okay, I just found that out. So. <laughs> So I want to edit, edit the title screen. This this can be a little um, bit of a bit of a tricky um, task to do um, because I found that the cursor doesn't always do what you want it to do. So let's back that out and we'll do uh, I don't know promo test. So now we've got that in there, and up here you can use, um, well, this is one of the things I run into also, being able to change the font. It, I've got it selected, I'm clicking the font, and it's not doing anything, so I, I'm not sure what's up with that, but in the old version, it, you know, it was easy to change the text, the font, the background color, you know, whatever, through the little inspector uh, thing. Um, so I've got text selected, Okay, so let's see. It's gonna play it. It's gonna put my my title in there, but I want to change the font, and it's not letting me. Maybe this font is restricted on due to this particular template. So let's try <clears throat> let's try changing the title template. And this is one of the things I like now. Um, you can delete. And before it would the option would be to delete selection, but you can actually just go in here and and uh, delete it from the menu here, or you can also once it's selected just hit the delete key. Well, uh, the backspace key. My bad. The backspace key to get rid of the title. So let's go find another title that will let us edit it, and we'll drag it down here on top. And uh, see if this one will allow me to change. Okay, now I can change the font. Uh, it doesn't give me a whole lot to choose from. I think the previous version may have been about the same way, but in the previous version, it showed you what the font would look like on the screen. And here you just have to kind of select it and then see what it changes it to. It's not like a preview as you scroll kind of thing. So I'm uh, not really. Too, too happy about that, but you know, not a big deal. Okay, so we've got our title screen, which is, you know, pretty cool looking. I like it. It's not too bad. So let's add uh, an event. Let's go into my Choose It's video that I posted yesterday. Stupidest video I've probably ever done, but hey, it was fun. I had fun with it. Um, okay, so let's drag a little section of a clip here down okay so now we've got that uh, I want to do a little okay that was loud <laughs> uh, let me turn the volume down there okay so now we've got that and then you see you've got some of uh, the tools you can use on the video clip um, I haven't used these tools yet but uh, I'm sure they, they do what they're supposed to do. Not really one of the topics of this video. Uh, but you can choose between adjust, which I just closed. You can adjust or you can enhance. And it shows you which ones you can use here by the underlining of that particular um, option. So 
one of the other things I noticed or didn't really like was that when you go to export one of these videos um, it doesn't give you a progress bar you, in, anywhere so you really just have to wait for it to finish exporting and then it'll pop up the video for you to play and you know, to preview uh, didn't really like that I mean I like the progress bar I like to know you know how much longer I have until it's complete and then it does give you a notification up here when it is done uh, that's you know your, your your video is complete so I didn't really like that that the progress bar has been removed um, so you know that, that was one of the things uh, but also with this version you can um, you have a library and then you also have what's called a theater where you can save your movies to the theater and you can view them on like an Apple TV uh, maybe you know it's through the cloud so you can view it on your your iPhone if you have one I don't have one I have a uh, an Android okay um, so that was one of the things I didn't like the one of the other things the transitions didn't really have any problems with that um, I don't like that the transitions are in the previous version you can select them and modify them I'm not really sure how well they work let me just see you can pop one in there okay so it's not too bad and I'm learning this as I'm going through this video if you if you can't tell <laughs> So, so let's see how the, the transition works. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So let me let me render this or export it. So to export, you go to share. Then it gives you options of where you want to share it to. You can share it through email, Facebook, you know, wherever. Uh, I usually do file, and this saves a file on your local computer. Uh, and this is where. Uh, you set the settings uh, for whether you want this video to appear in the theater and I'll do that just as a test and uh, it tells you the length of the movie the estimated file size and compatibility um, as far as it's compatible with Mac and PC and if it were compatible with these other options it would it would have those highlighted as well one thing I do like about the this particular screen is you can actually preview the video by scrolling through it you may be able to watch it no it doesn't work with the space bar okay so we've got our um, tags is uh, iMovie we've got our size as far as resolution and uh, so let's go and we can actually change that if we wanted to choose a different one we just click on that and change it okay and then we would uh, go to next and then it gives us the option of where we want to save so I'm just going to save it to the desktop and um, we'll give it we'll just keep it with the same file name as test and we will export as you can see there's no progress bar so I don't know how long it's going to take to to do this I'm assuming not very long so it popped up the screen and it gives you the notification in the upper right hand corner so, um, you know, that's it so far. I haven't really, I don't know what I did there. I'm guessing that's the tag thing. So we'll just cancel out of that. Um, I haven't really spent a whole lot of time going through these other things, but I did go through the sounds, um, and I won't go into that in this video because it's going to violate some kind of copyright, and I'm sure I get flagged for that every once in a while. But that's pretty much it for this video. Are there things that you found that you don't like or would change about the, the design of the update for iMovie? Um, I do, you know, there are some things I do like and some things I don't like. Um, so just let me know your thoughts on this. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash cryodog, K-R-Y-O-D-A-W-G. Have a good day.